Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on it the purest of white light and pray that you pr stay on it in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. <coughs> Judgment is final. So let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. I hope you all are doing well and staying blessed and highly favored because you always are. So we have a contract here that is over with a woman of high honor in the reverse. Uh, so two people will not be coming together. I don't know if this is uh, either coming together or staying together. So I don't know if someone sees you as like someone that's independent, self-sufficient or whatever, and they were trying to have a contract with you. It's not happening. Or someone could have been with someone that was pretending to be of high honor and this contract is over or whatever this is that they have between each other is over. And this woman is probably not doing too well with this realization or this news. Okay. Someone has been wanting a commitment from either a masculine or a feminine behind the scenes. And the fact that they're not receiving that offer has them very angry, live, like just confused, probably living in a lot of fear because what? They don't know what their future holds. These kind of women are the kind that rely on other people. Like I mentioned, the uh, uh, trophy wives, trophy girlfriends yesterday in one of my readings. This will be one of those. Once you take your support away from them, they go from being this to this. Okay? Because now they don't have the money to secure themselves, to upkeep themselves. They're even more of a burden now than they were before. Something like that. Okay? But, oh. Listen, I guess this is the truth. They did want a commitment. They were expecting good news. But it looks like someone is what? Moving on somewhere else and leaving them out in the cold to have a new beginning with an empress. Okay. Okay. Whatever this is. Lord have mercy. Someone is choosing to be disciplined and to master themselves. So this is why they're getting away from... I don't know what to call this lady. Okay? I don't know like if we want to call her like Miss... Miss Bougie, Miss Not Bougie, whatever this is. <laughs> but she's having to move on because these resources, these benefits are no longer available to her. Okay. There was a union that was supposed to come together that was going to be absolutely uh, abundant, but it's not coming together because, listen, this woman, yes, like she plays with people, emotions and things like that. Uh, and I'm not even sure if this union was meant to come together. I think it's just the fact that if you two would have came together, something would have been very successful, but it's not coming together because the masculine in this collaboration, this connection, whatever we want to call it, someone is not healed yet, but this is someone with the mindset that, oh, well, I know I'm not healed, but you are healed. And since I can't have you in this healed energy i'm going to temper with your energy and make sure that you are not healed that'll make it easier for you to see me as your equal and then we can get together lies this could be like a king of wands doing this and now he's having to go within right he's doing a lot of thinking because he being he's being rejected right having to be practical about this situation and make a different choice right because someone else may be coming in to give you some type of offer and it's willing to work with you so you can move on with your life and, I don't know, build something else, arrive at your destination, go where you need to go, seal onto calmer waters. But there's a king of wands that's really pissed off behind the scenes, is disappointed because he sees you as wish fulfillment, but he has to move on because you know exactly what someone has been doing. I think someone's intention was to come in and give to you or something like that. Maybe they wanted to communicate with you, but there's something that's, Causing some type of blockage is and the blockage is more so your mental as you as the feminine. It's like you know something about a masculine. Um, maybe he told you didn't know, like someone was supposed to come in and pretend to be your twin flame and say, Hey, I don't know if someone told him that 
maybe you had a weak spot for them. You saw them as a twin flame. So they were trying to kind of teach this person how to come into your energy and give you this offer. And you were going to see them as your knight in shiny armor. You and them was going to seal onto karma waters and heal and balance things out in life. But now he knows that that's not true because you see someone as extremely aggressive and you're leaving them out in the in the cold. Like you don't want anything to do with this person. This could be someone that's very reckless and sleeps with a lot of what? Women. Okay. So you're being practical about the situation. This person could be a king of wands, a king of pentacles energy. Okay. Maybe he is a king of wands actually um, and a king of pentacles as well. This person could have fallen from grace or something, but someone did. Yeah. Oh, someone fell from grace. Someone has fallen from grace. Dang. You know how hard. Yeah. Someone is going to have to go through some type of rebirth. And this is because someone has been very determined. Like someone went from this. From this. Being in the upright. Being balanced. Healed and everything. To, do, to being in this energy. Like they're going through failures. Nothing they touch is prospering or is going to prosper until they balance this out. Like someone has to go through some type of rebirth, that dark night of the soul so that they can come. Yeah. So they can come out this way. Go from this to this. You know how hard it is to become a temperance energy and then for someone to just throw it away. Someone's been out here overindulging in things like that into the finer things in life. Someone is very superficial, Right. Someone is wanting to force like their wishes to come through and they don't know. They don't care how they have to do it. You may have a mass, another masculine behind the scenes that seeing you as wish fulfillment wants to come in to give to you, maybe wanting to communicate some type of truth to you. Okay. I don't know if it has to do with finances or how someone pay for a tower to be caused in your life. Um, they see you as a queen of cups, queen of wands energy right there are two women behind the scenes and that i'm picking up on as well it's a queen of cups and a queen of wands the both of them are going through some type of heartbreak i don't know if they are like a concubine to a masculine or they've been working really hard to take another woman down or to block another woman possibly a queen of pentacles or uh, this is how they see this woman They've been working really hard to block someone. They've been trying to block some type of communication, uh, block someone's works, block someone's intuition, someone's connection with their ancestors, their downloads, block some, yeah, someone mastering themselves. They've been trying to block that. These are two women that go to practitioners and things like that to temper with karma. They, they don't want things being balanced out and the both of them will have to move on. Both of these women are watching you and this, they are absolutely disappointed that someone may be walking away from a community because they have a higher understanding of what situation they committed themselves to and they're trying to bring some type of balance in their life so they may be holding back because this narcissistic attitude behavior is not leading to anything but downfall it's like someone thought i don't know if there's like a masculine that uh, uh approached like a high priestess or something to pay them to do some type of work and all she knows how to do is like cause a lot of uh, uh problems, like chaos ma magic. She literally, that's all she knows how to do is cause chaos magic. Chaos magic only works for people that are not awakened, people that are low vibrational, people that are not happy, people that don't know themselves, people that are not, not a high vibrational. So yes, if you do a lot of chaos magic in their lives, it will work because they're already in that energy. But if you're doing chaos magic on someone in this energy, it's not going to work. They're always going to stand their ground. They're always going to return it, return to sender. So it's like a waste of time. So it doesn't matter how many times you repeat some type of magic some type of ritual is always going to backfire horribly and that's what this woman is finding out i also think that a masculine has been working with a high priestess behind the scenes and this high priestess no because this is like a king of wands that went to like a high priestess and said i need you to uh, uh dismantle this person's future dismantle their destiny i don't want them having any offers any fulfillments in life like block their destiny or something right Little does he know the high priestess he's been paying the whole time knew that that's not something that could be done. 
So maybe she just, you know, decided to take the money and go along with it. She said, hey, you want me to pretend with you? I'll pretend with you. But I already know this ain't happening. That's not something she can do. So he's been out here paying time after time. And there are no results. Listen, I'm telling you, no results. Because what? The person's future, he's been trying to block. They're still getting it. And it's coming in quick. Someone is still receiving a big old yes from the universe. So all the money he's been sending, spending, it has him in some type of energy where he's uncertain about his future. He's afraid because he knows you are still going to be receiving your abundance in life. And I know I see uh, the four of wands can be associated with marriage, but it can just be with your abundance overall in life. You reaping your harvest and things like that. You being successful in life. Okay. And I see a king of cups in here. There could be a king of cups that's going to communicate with someone in divine timing. But whatever magic these people have been doing to steal your abundance, to steal your destiny, cause mayhem in your life, it's all coming to an end because what well, you are destined. I'm telling you, you're destined to be abundant. You are destined to be healed. You are destined to be influential in other people's life. You are destined to help other people heal as well, right? And you have foresight of your future. So it's not really nothing anyone can do. You already know the offers and opportunities, the new beginnings the universe has for you. So there's nothing like any narcissist can do to stop your future. They may cause hindrances here and there, some hiccups. Hey, that's part of life, isn't it? That's part of life. That is part of life. And I do believe that you are absolutely a high priestess and you are extremely intuitive. So you probably more than likely know exactly who this is that you're, you're supposed to be connecting with. I had this dream where it's like this, these two kids, I, they were no more than 12 years old, but this was like, like the time, time frame they were in, like the era they were in was not today. This was like a past life thing. It was two kids. The it was they were Caucasian in this lifetime. Um, and the little girl, she was an only child for her parents, and they lived in this big house. And she had this room that was really beautiful. Like it had a lot of pink and rose gold colors and stuff like that to it. Like her room was just really beautiful, and she had this really big bed in the room, right? And she was an only child and would feel lonely, but she had a a, a kid a guy friend that was her age and he used to come over um and they would play music together they had their little uh band just the both of them they would play music all the time and they grew up to, like i was it's like i was watching two people's story right like it like source was letting me know hey these two people they have some type of uh interaction or story or connection that goes back past lifetimes right and it was just a beautiful thing because it's like they went from being 12 years old to playing around you know playing with the different instruments and things like that and this girl's parents were really wealthy i don't know if the guy's parents were wealthy but he would come over for them to play um and then they got to a point where the both of them grew up and they were still together. I and mean, I think when I saw them growing up, because they were at a restaurant at this point eating, they must have been in like their late 20s, early 30s or something like that, eating together, had their, had their friends with them and everything. So there's some type of connection that goes back past lifetimes, right? And maybe the both of them, they know about this with this six of cups being here. There are two people that maybe know that they're meant to be together, but there's some type of gap. And I don't think you two have probably even met before for some of you, or maybe for some of you, you met briefly. Um, and there's some type of uh, distance that's been placed between the two of you or something like that. But there is a connection out here that goes all the way back past lifetimes. And maybe this lifetime, you two are meant to work together, maybe in business or whatever. Um, but it'll come to pass. There is some type of uh, secret that is going to be revealed. Um, it's like someone has been taking some type of action to cause hindrances to someone. And this is not your... This is not your divine partner. This is someone with some type of delusional mindset that you and them are a twin flame with this out here in the reverse. This means that you two do not have a contract. It's that someone knows that you are very abundant, but you're not willing to lower your standards for this person. So that means you're not an option for this man or whoever this is, this woman. 
you're not an option for them, okay? So someone may be living in fear about that. Why? Because they have invested quite a lot to interfere with some type of connection that's supposed to come together. Um, they've told a lot of lies. Someone said they wanted to win at all costs, but they don't know every action they took was kind of sealing their fit. Like it's a no from the universe. It's a no, right? Because it's like, how do you go from destroying someone and they're coming in to what? Rescue them? Save the day? Save the day from whom? You? Right. So that, the possibilities of you and someone coming together is slim to slim. Nothing. Slim to nothing. It ain't happening. Okay? Because it's like someone already, someone already destroyed their chances with us, with someone of high honor. So it's like there's nothing they can do. So someone may just be acting out of spite, okay? Someone may be acting out of spite. Someone may want to communicate with you, someone in the upright, but they are afraid. Yeah, someone is afraid, but they will go for it at the right time. So I wouldn't hurt my head about it. And this is because they see you as wish fulfillment. And this is why I say don't be in a rush for anything. Take your time, figure life out. Heal from all of your traumas and things like that. Put an end to the things that you need to put an end to before you start a new chapter so that the old things from the past cannot come back. Yeah, they cannot come back and cause hindrances to you. So if you need to get rid of someone karmic and toxic, get rid of them first. Take the time to heal. This whole mindset about, you know, you're with someone, you two split up, and then you go get with the next person the next day. That is not cute. That is you stacking your trauma on top of another trauma. That's how we stack up trauma. We don't take time to heal from anything. So we just keep going through life, you know, collecting trauma after trauma after trauma. And then we get to a certain age. Like they say, we go through this midlife crisis where everything just kind of falls on our shoulders. And we start thinking about all the stuff we went through. And now we feel like it's too late to heal from it. And then sometimes, unfortunately, people become bitter and they take their anger out on people that haven't done anything to them. And they don't, they don't know why. They're spazzing out at people, you know, they're walking around with a chip on their shoulders. You go to say hello to them. They spaz out on you. You're like, all I said was hello. I didn't know it was a crime to say hello, but let me take my hello back. Goodbye. Okay. So that's why we need to stop hopping from relationships to relationships. And I don't care if it's romantic or platonic. Don't do that. Like if you have a best friend, something happens and you two go your separate ways, take time to heal from their relationship. Cause I don't care what you say about how you didn't like her bald headed, uh, behind, you know, I don't like her nappies. Nobody cares. Take the time to heal because there's a time in life when you did care genuinely about that person and you will have done anything right to give to them, to share with them, to make sure that they were good in life. Okay, so make sure you take time to heal. I'm telling you, take time to heal from everything. I don't care how small, how little. If the universe brings it to your attention, do not turn your back and act like it's not there. That's where you go wrong, pretending like something is not there. Face your demons front and center. Do not, do not run from nothing. Okay, do not run from nothing. And I'm telling you all that because I used to run from my problems. And when people know that you run from your problems, then they feel like they have some type of hold over you. They can bring, yeah, they have some type of hold over you. They can bring you con conflict at any time that can lead to an ending for you. Okay. So just make sure you're facing the things you need to fix on that. Don't let anyone make you feel less than, make you feel insecure, make you feel like they have any type of calling in your life, right? Go through your rebirth as many times as you need to. Go through your transitions as, as many times as you need to. And remember to forgive yourself too along the way. Okay? Don't hold any grudges in. Don't live harbor, harboring any type of like uh, uh, um, negative energies, like intense energies and things like that. Like live freely. Take charge of your life and live freely. Okay? There could be an emperor out here that wants to work with someone. But there's someone pissed off about this emperor wanting to work with you. Um, and then you have one that's also pissed off because he cannot come in to give you an offer. This is like a tower for him. It's like he's going through some type of realization. And 
uh, uh, having to accept the fact that you don't want an offer from him because it's not genuine. Someone may have done something to you in the, in the background of you or the past or has been doing something for a long time. And they thought this is going to secure their chances with you. And I keep picking, like at this point, I'm so sick of this person's energy that I keep picking up on me in my readings. There's a man out here with some type of distorted mindset. He thinks that destroying or dismantling a feminist energy life. So this is you typically, right? Self-sufficient, independent, content in life. You're not out here looking for a million dollar mansion or whatever. You're just content in life. You manage what you have. But a man thinks that he can, he, him, excuse me, him flying all over in your life, being in your phone, being in your computer, being in your bank account, being into all different forms of your life, right? Without your permission, by the way, is going to lead to him having some type of advantage over you. Like he can come in and say, Hey, if you don't get with me, I'm going to shut this down. If you don't get with me, I'm going to take all your money. If you don't get with you, sent no, ladies and gentlemen, can you listen to how pathetic that sounds? Can you listen to how crazy that sounds? Like, for example, I do YouTube. Someone tries to take uh, control of my platform, right? And then they come in and they say, hey, you're going to be with me. If you're not with me, I'm going to shut your platform down and I'm going to take, take control of it. I already have control of it and I can do whatever I want to with it. And then you just look at them like, okay, do as you please. Because if you are an impressed energy, you already know the universe is taking care of it, right? So it's something like that where someone feels like they can come in, they have some type of control over you, or they can just give you money, and then you're just going to be like, oh my gosh, this is my emperor. Oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? But it's like you're holding back from this person because you already know someone, someone has like no type of good intentions for you and they thought they were going to get away with something it's like someone doesn't realize every action they take against you is exposing them in some way shape or form and the people working with this man behind the scenes this there are some end yeah it's a few people working with this man behind the scenes they don't realize that the endings that are coming for them they're going to have to be brave they're going to have to be brave this, I'm getting like a narcissistic energy. He's going to have to figure out a way on how to move on with his life. Try to turn a new leaf. Okay. And try to heal, try to start over. I don't know how you're, you're going to do that. You may want to go for professional help, like help, like counseling or something. But I, I promise you trying to destroy someone's life is not going to lead to any, I'm telling you, it's not uh, going to lead to any type of reconciliation for you in between you and them. Nothing that, that this is when people don't want to see you. They refuse your offers and things like that because what this is you, you don't martyr yourself out here. And then you want someone to think what well, highly of you and you want them to invest with you and see you as wish fulfillment talking about we're we're twin flame. We go back past lifetimes, but the whole time you're this energy in this energy. It don't work that way, sir. It don't work that way. It's like, I, I don't know. I don't know how people mindset work, but this is letting me know that this man has done this before. Maybe even the woman that he's with. Oh, okay. He's, he is with a woman. This is how he probably possibly got her. Or this is just how he feels like he has to go by things, causing illusions and interfering with your life, monitoring you and everything. Someone is psychotic out here. I'm sorry. Someone is psychotic and then has the audacity to be upset because you don't want an offer from him. Let's like, sir, you're going to have to pick a side and stick to it. Are you the victim or are you the villain? Which one are you? Okay. Which one are you? Are you the victim or the villain? You can't be both. You cannot be both. I've told some people that before. You can't be the victim and the villain at the same time. You got to pick a side. I'm telling you, you got to pick a side and stick to it. Okay. And then he's out here. Up. I don't know who this is. That's upset. Maybe people are waking up in this group or something. 
feeling disappointed with the fact that they pay for someone to cause you some type of ending, not knowing the whole story. You're out here minding your business and they're busy paying people, causing illusions about you so that people, someone can come in and on a live view. I don't know if someone paid like an assassin, like someone don't hire a killer to move in next door to you or uh, they hired a killer next door to you. Something like that. Maybe he moved next door and he's waiting for the right time to strike you and it's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. This could be a queen of wands that on hire someone to come in and do you something because she's afraid of a chapter coming to an end for her. Maybe she's been with this man that's bunkers out here too. So, I mean, basically why? Hmm. Listen, listen, listen. If the woman, if the woman you are with, whether she, you're married to her, whether she's a concubine, whether she's a whatever else, I don't care. Side piece, friends with benefits. If you and her match energy, why not stay with her? You two already have an under, you already have an understanding and an agreement. Why not stay with her? Why go bother someone that ain't bothering none of you? Why? Uh-huh. She says she's trying to protect her. Listen, this woman is losing it behind the scenes. She's trying to protect her bag. She sees someone as a bag. He's just as low vibrational as her. Right? Yeah, they've been paying to have someone's stability dismantle. To have someone's stability to dismantle your ten of pentacles. They said, no, 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 no. She can't have that. He can't have that. Love, they said no. No love. No love. No commitment. I'm telling you, no commitment. They don't want you self-actualizing. They want you to overindulge with the rest of them. They said we're karmic over here. In order for her to be one of us, she has to be karmic. In order for him to be one of us, he has to be karmic. He has to let go of his morals. She has to let go of her morals and then she can be one of us. There's a, I don't know if this is like a mother figure or a wife figure within a community. She does not like a woman that someone is interested in because she said, no, 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 no. Her eyes are too open. She's going to, uh, yeah, <laughs> her eyes are too open. She's going to see everything. Nothing is hidden from her. So she must have told her son, no, 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 that she's not an option. Lying the whole time. Isn't that crazy? This is a whole family. There's a couple. I don't know if people are planning to go on the run. I keep hearing something about a check. Some type of fraudulent activities. I said check. There go the four of cups. I mean the nine of cups and the freaking uh seven of pentacles. Three of pentacles. The chariot. There's something in here. I don't know if there's some type of signature fraud going on. People are determined to hide their secrets because they've been lying and stuff. I don't know whatever this is, honey. Let me get out of that one. Let me get out. Mm. I can't. King of Cups coming out. So yeah, whoever that other gentleman is, you don't have a contract with him, just like I said. And this is why he's pissed off behind the scenes because you're not an option for him, which will be part of the reason this Nine of Pentacles energy is out here in the reverse. You're not an option for him. You don't have a contract with this person, but they know you don't have a contract with them. Mind you, they've always known. So what did they do? They went out of their way to cause you burdens. So they could come in, gaslight you. This is like someone has taken everything from you and you have nowhere to turn, no one to turn to. And then they come in and say, hey, pretty little thing, pretty young thing. What's going on? And then they're waiting for you behind the scenes so that you can call them and say, hey, Mr. John. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Mr. John, I was calling to see if you can help me with this. This is a king of swords doing too much behind the scenes. Hey, I, I was hoping you can help me with, with a couple of dollars, you know. Um, I'm trying to buy some groceries. That's what he's wanting. He wants you to call him so he can come in and rescue you. Yeah, come in and rescue you. Whole time, he's the one that's been tempering with your family stability. I'm telling you, he's the one that's been tempering with your stability, your energy, everything. This man has been all over your life thinking that you don't know he's there. Because someone considered, yeah, he thought you didn't know he was there. Because someone considers themselves to be a crafty fox. 
She said, <laughs> she doesn't know I'm here. She doesn't know it's me. I'm just going to act like it's someone else that's doing it. <laughs> but the whole time you know it's them. He wanted you to think that it was an emperor that was doing this to you the whole time. But you're like, no, 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 no. That emperor is in the upright. We know that emperor ain't fooling around with that stuff. That's too low vibrational for him. That's too low, that's too low vibrational for that emperor. It's an emperor out here minding his business. Um, and then you have a clown out here invading your privacy, but he wants you to believe that it's the emperor. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's how narcissists move. They say, we'll move from behind the scenes and we are going to make, make him or her think that it's someone really close to them. Yeah, this King of Cups wants to communicate with you because they're interested in marrying you. Do not jump into any relationship with anyone. This King of Cups, I think, has some type of healing. Yeah, don't jump into anything quickly with this person. They have some type of healing they need to go through. Uh, and I do think that they've been doing the work. Yeah, they've been doing the healing work. They've been doing the healing work. Someone is seeing life from a higher perspective now and taking actions to balance things out in order to come in and give you an offer. Finds you to be very beautiful and things like that, right? So you two, your new beginning will be a little bit complicated. It is going to be a little difficult, but it is something that's being protected by the universe. So, you know, you're going to have to choose to either... Hmm, Stick the course out or you can say, you know what? This love thing right now ain't for me. I'm going to focus on my pentacles and move forward with my life. You got that option. Okay? You have that option. I keep hearing lesson to learn. So someone may still have a lesson to learn. Yes, yeah, someone has a lesson to learn. So also it could be that if you end up taking this King of Cups, you may still have a lesson to learn in life because maybe there's something where he's not completely healed from and he may come in and bring that baggage with him or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. He's dealing with something, some type of baggage in life. He may want to communicate with you to clarify something or to communicate with you and let you know that he's feeling trapped. He feels stuck somewhere. He doesn't want to be. I don't know what this is, honey. I don't know, but I just know there's a masculine that's not fulfilled. That he sees you as someone that he wants to be with. I don't know if this is someone you used to date or someone you have a contract with. But now he sees you as wish fulfillment or whatever this is. But there is something where this masculine may have been collaborating with a group of people behind the scenes before to bring some type of problems to you. Um, and now he's wanting to put an end to this chapter. But there's a little problem because you may not know what it, what it is he did. But I think you do. There may be someone blackmailing a masculine behind the scenes. Say, hey, if you go towards her, I'm going to expose all your secrets. And they say, what are the secrets? That he went to jail or something? Nobody cares about that, honey. That's so low vibrational for you to be doing that. So he may be bothered a little bit behind the scenes. There's an empress that's bothered as well. Wants to come in really quick. Are you trying? Girl, what in the world? She may be trying to pay someone so that they can secure her victory, but she's living under some type of delusion. Who the heck kind of empress is that? They said they, they, want, they don't want a wealthy man to come in or they want a false wealthy man to come in to trap you or something like that. But you're a queen of cups. You see already that everybody is burdened. There's a queen of cups behind the scenes that's burdened as well. So I said, listen. There was a reading I did when I said a queen of cups is going to get caught for stealing. Listen. Oh my gosh. And she didn't know. <gasps> oh. She didn't know she was being watched. When she was stealing. Dang. This woman didn't know she was being watched by the authorities when she was stealing from someone. Oh, dang. Yeah, she thought no one knew. Oh, honey, you lied to yourself. I said this before in a reading that a queen of cups was going to get caught for stealing. And there she goes. Um, well, and they're seeing her as a liar now. Yeah, there's something of a court that's coming up for someone. They're seeing her as a liar. I think this man wants to come towards you to confess everything. 
Let me hurry up. Listen, I don't know if this is the time of the year where conf it's true confession. True confession. Everybody has something to say. I don't know. Oh, there go the court case. Ah, uh, okay. Listen, there's a court case. I don't know if the court system is looking things over, going within to see things a little bit more clearer than before. Something was not illuminated as clearly as it, as it is today. Someone may have paid like a court official to act like they didn't see something and to just let something go and move on. It's all coming out. And there's a King of Cups moving on with his life too. He don't care what what uh, uh, Madonna has on him. He said, I'm going. I don't care. Okay. So if you're having some type of health issues, whether it's mental, physical, psychological, emotional, spiritual, it's all going to be turning around for the good. You are also being aware, uh, uh, um, uh, you are being warned to be wary of dishonest friends around you with the fan coming out um, because there could be people around you that are lying to keep you stuck in some type of karmic situation. So you don't want to uh, deny yourself. I don't know. Fulfillment. You need to self actualize. It's what I'm being told you to, it's what I'm being told to tell you to do. Someone does not want that coming out. You need to self actualize. I don't know if you need to go on a vacation, separate yourself from these people. Listen, move on. Let's just simplify it that way. Move on. But there, there's some type of dishonest friend around you. This could be like a, uh, -uh. I'm not going to simplify it like that. Be wary of the friends around you. There's someone that's been around you for a long time that's very dishonest. Very dishonest. Okay. So we have the number 26, 8. Okay. Uh, it says you have a desire to succeed and will feel uh, most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I am tactful. Okay. Um, what I just heard is that someone wants you to act out of character. They don't want you being professional. They don't want you being tactful. They don't want you being diplomatic. They don't want you being positive, vibrating on a high frequency. They want to lower you down. Lord have mercy. Uh, higher wisdom. Ain't that something? <laughs> oh, God. It's that explore options. Learn what you can and expand your horizon. Turn the page, myself included. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.